Hey everyone, Patrick here with Rap4. Hey, today I'm going to talk about vests. Now I'm going to show you the ones that we sell and go over the features so you can pick the one that's right for you. This is our Counter-Strike paintball vest. Now this is static, meaning that the pouches on here, they're sewn on, they're going to be where they're going to be. However, they're in really good places and there's a lot of them. Let me go over them real quick. Now on the front here, you've got a, an admin pouch, a little ID panel, you can put your, uh, your ID here. It has a few different pockets for uh, putting other items in. There's even a zipper on the top. Put a lot of things in there. A uh, cell phone, uh, map, uh, GPS, anything like that. Now down here, you've got a pouch across the front. That's really good for any kind of paperwork, anything you don't want to get paint on. And keep it in there to keep it safe. Magazine pouches across the front. Under each arm, you have these elastic loops. These are good for a 12 gram suit two cylinder or a 10 round paintball tube or uh, maybe a flashlight or anything else, else that'll fit. You'll actually even be able to put molly pouches on this if you wanted to. Now the sides are adjustable with uh, hook and loop fasteners and they're also, they stretch a bit. And that's real helpful if, you're, uh, um, if you want to keep it real snug but you want to run around. That way your body doesn't take the brunt of the force every time you get a jerk or anything in your vest. Now in the back here you have four pod pouches. What's really cool about these is these tabs that are hanging down, uh, they're to get to it real fast. So you have your pod in here, mount it upside down. This uh, hook and loop fastener, this will not come off no matter how much you run, no matter how heavy the paint is in there. And all you gotta do to get to it is you reach back, you grab this tab, pull it down, pod comes out. It's pretty cool. Now this pouch in the middle, this is for a tank. This can hold a very large tank or a very small tank. You can tighten this down depending on uh, what your setup is or how you want to have your remote line. Pouch here that you can put a Camelback bladder in or any other gear that you want to. And it comes with a radio pouch up here on your left shoulder. Now that's really useful if you're running a throat mic or a headset. You don't want cords running from your belt all across your body just waiting to get caught on something. It's real nice to have it right there already. Have the cord go straight to it. Now these shoulders are very adjustable with hook and loop fasteners right here. So this vest can fit you no matter how big or how small you are. Has some D-rings up here to mount uh, one point slings to. Also a few loops here if you wanted to integrate the straps from another backpack or something on here. And now these, uh, these panels in the back, these are hook and loops, so you can remove these. You can move these uh, somewhere else. Depending on, uh, um, if you wanted to have a backpack on here, you could take this tank pouch off completely or on the sides as well. All around, this is a real solid paintball vest. If you're just getting into paintball, if you're just getting into Milsim, you want to have a vest with all your equipment and your gear on it, uh, the uh, Counter-Strike's a really good choice for you as far as entry level into the, uh, into the uh, scenario of paintball. This is our Molly vest. This is the most modular and customizable vest that we sell. Now, this is available in tan, black, olive drab, and foliage green. And foliage green is another way of saying ACU gray. Now this is covered from shoulder to waist in Molly loops. That's going to allow you to put your pouches anywhere you want on this. Uh, Molly is a universal system in the tactical community, so if you already have some Molly pouches, they will attach to this. Um, if you weave them on there correctly, they'll never come off. It's, ex it's very stable. This is made out of a mesh material that breathes really nice when you get hot. Um, and it's very adjustable. On the sides, each side has three adjustable uh, straps here. Now these expand out pretty far if you're bigger than most. Um, and also in the front, it has a zipper and three adjustable straps. If you wanted to expand that out past where the zipper goes, you'd be able to do that with these clips. These expand out even further. Uh, the shoulders are adjustable. If you wanted to tight, tighten them up or uh, um, loosen them down, you'd be able to do that. Just be sure to take the slack and tuck it back underneath this panel. You don't want it getting caught on anything. Uh, now down here, these are loops to integrate it with a pistol belt as shown here. This pistol belt is, is sold separately, but I put it on here to show you how it works. Uh, these loops retain your pistol belt so that if, if you have a lot of uh, heavy equipment on here, like an air tank, canteens, pods, magazines, and it starts to, it, instead of it slipping down on you, uh, these loops keep it all in line and keep it right where it needs to be. Uh, it's a very, very useful system if you are running a lot of equipment on your hips. Uh, now in the back, you have a drag strap here that's going to lay flat until you want to get to it. And inside, inside in the back, there's a, a, a pouch in here. Now you can't feel it when you're wearing it if there's nothing in it. But if you want to take the bladder out of your hydration pack, you can put it directly in this vest. Now that's going to eliminate some of the straps over your shoulders. It's going to eliminate some of the weight of your gear. It's going to eliminate one more thing you need to buy. You won't have to purchase a, a camelback with this vest. Just get the bladder. 
put it in here that keeps it uh, nice and tucked away also underneath whatever other gear that you want to have on the outside here a camelback ladder isn't something that you'll need to get to during a mission however you can have other mission essential equipment on your back this is our Tactical 10 paintball vest. Now this was designed for paintball, but it's made out of the same materials that you'll find on the modern battlefield as far as tactical gear goes. Now this has a lot of features and it is modular. However, it's modular with large hook and loop panels with some snaps. And these are very secure and you're able to take the entire panel off uh, you can purchase another one to replace it uh, if you wanted to have a cross straw holster or magazine pouches instead of these pod pouches that come standard be able to take this one off put the new one on um, it's very durable uh, hook and loop and these snaps really keep it in place even if you're crawling around now this is made out of a mesh material so it's nice and breathable that's real important if you're somewhere hot or humid uh, when you're playing all day you definitely feel the difference there up here on the shoulder this is a nice nylon pad. Now that is good to get that buttstock in your shoulder and lock it in there without grinding into your, uh, into your uh, collarbone too bad. That comes with two admin pouches on the front, one of which has an ID panel right there. To be able to put a name tape or unit identifier and call sign like I have on my vest. Uh, up here we have a radio pouch. Now this radio pouch has a little cutout in the flap so that you can put the antenna out of there or the cords. It's nice having it up here on your shoulder so that you can attach it directly to a throat mic or a headset without having wires crossing over your body waiting to get hooked on something. And on the front it comes standard with four pod pouches. Like I said, you're able to remove these panels and put on a holster or anything else you want, but this is how it comes. Uh, now it's very uh, adjustable, has three clips on the front and three straps on each side. Now these clips and these straps, they expand out real far farther than the zipper will go. So if you're a big guy, uh, if you're wearing a sweatshirt underneath this, if you have uh, a vest that want, you want to put underneath this, uh, armor vest or something, you'll be able to do that. This vest will accommodate a very large sized torso. Now on the front of the vest on the inside, there's two zipper pockets. Now that's a really nice spot to put a cell phone or a wallet or anything that you don't want to get paint on. Moving on to the back, there's two areas here that have a couple of molly loops. You'll be able to attach maybe a canteen pouch, uh, more magazine pouches, anything that you can find that can fit there. Uh, the shoulders up here are fully adjustable, so they'll, uh, they'll loosen down if you happen to be shaped like that. They'll tighten up if maybe you're a shorter person. Um, in the back here, there is that hydration, uh, that hydration reservoir as far as being able to take your, the bladder from your hydration pack, get rid of the pack, and put it directly into your vest. That's gonna eliminate the straps of that camelback over your vest as well as open up this whole area for this equipment here. Now here is a uh, tank pouch. This is really good for um, those of you who are running remote lines. This is attached here with six molly loops and hook and loop fasteners. It's not going anywhere. Uh, it tightens down if you have a smaller tank, expands out if you have a bigger tank. Uh, this will fit in very large tanks if you're maybe a heavy gunner or somebody's going to do a lot of shooting from the rear. Uh, this is a very good vest for you based on this option alone. Now in the back here you have four pod pouches. These uh, are attached within a molly panel so you can have them upright if you want to. Most people prefer to have them down because it's easier to get to. It's easier to reach behind you to get to your pods. And on the bottom it comes standard with these uh, pistol belt loops that I explained on the, um, the molly vest. These are really good if you have a, uh, a, a pistol belt that has maybe a canteen, uh, an air tank pouch, magazines, pods, heavy stuff, and you're tired of it slamming on your hips or, or slipping down or getting twisted on you, just attach it here to your vest. That's going to keep that from happening. This is our Strike Force vest. Now, this is very similar to the Texan paintball vest, it's just a more affordable version. Now, one difference is this panel up here. Now, this is rubberized and grippy so that your buttstock sticks right into your shoulder without moving and it's also slightly padded so that your collarbone doesn't uh, get the brunt of that force. Now this is just as customizable as a Tech 10 with these velcro panels and snaps on the front. Just as adjustable, uh, made out of mesh material as well, very breathable, uh, has the air tank pouch standard and a 4x pod pouch in the back. So if you don't make it out there too often or if you're just saving up and you want to look for uh, getting a vest for now. Uh, this is definitely a good option. It has all the features of the Tac Tan. It's just more affordable for you. Now this is our Mod 2 body armor. Now this is extremely realistic to what you'll find in body armor on the modern battlefield. Now this is fully adjustable under the arms with a hook and loop panel. And it's a, these are quick clip system. As well as on the shoulders, you'll be able to tighten those up or loosen it depending on how 
tall or short you might be. It comes in two sizes. This is the large. It's available in tan, OD, and black. And it has molly loops all over the front and back, so you'll be able to put your gear anywhere on there you want. Now, two really cool features about the Mod 2. One, it accepts point blank uh, Kevlar inserts from standard issue body armor. You'll be able to take those inserts out of your body armor and put them directly into this vest, and this vest will now have the same bulletproof capability. Also, it has a quick cutaway system here. Now this handle, you, all you do is grab it and you pull it and this entire vest will just come apart, front and back, fall off of you. Now, the reason for that is safety. If you were to be in a Humvee that was flipped, if your vest caught on fire, if you were wounded and somebody needed to get to the wound underneath your vest, uh, you would be able to get this vest off right now, right now. That's a really big safety system, especially with the way that um, nylon can melt to a person. It's very safe to have that on a vest, and that's something that uh, was put into this vest when it was designed. This is a Spartan Plate Carrier 7. Now this was recently released by USMG, and we're looking forward to having it in stock around September. Um, this is a plate carrier, which means that instead of having a full wraparound vest, this simply holds one sappy plate to your front and to your rear. Uh, sappy stands for small arms protective insert. Now the advantage of a vest like this is mobility. It's extremely minimal, it's not in your way at all. All you have is a panel on the front and the back. Uh, the straps are out of the way and these uh, adjustable side straps here are, are low enough that it doesn't interfere with your movement. Now it has three big quick clips, one under each arm and one up here on the uh, reaction side shoulder. And the reason for this clip up here is so that instead of having to only put it on over your head when you might be wearing a helmet or you might need to be getting this off faster, you're able to remove it sideways. Take it off over one shoulder. Now on the inside of the vest there's a track with ventilation material here. Uh, this mesh is going to allow air to get between you and the vest and it's really helpful when you're uh, sweating real bad. Uh, the sides here are padded to protect you against the corners of the sappy plates that come in uh, point back towards your body. Uh, on the bottom here, this, uh, this pocket where the sappy plate goes, the hook side is facing away from you. That's really good if you're wearing some kind of Under Armour BDU. Uh, this, the hook and loop fasteners, the hook side, the sharp side, really destroys that stuff. Uh, if you've ever seen it happen, and once you get the uh, sharp side of some Velcro touching on some Under Armour material, it just, it just tears it up. So this is a really good uh, feature right here to keep that from happening to your, to your uniform. Now this is available in olive drab, black, and tan, and it comes with a drag strap on the back that lays flat with the hook and loop fastener, but if you need to get to it, just tear it open a little bit. Now here I have a Spartan plate carrier. This is out of my personal battle battle. This is what I play in. Now on the front, I have two 20 round D-Max. I have my call sign on my uh, unit identifying patch. I have a flashlight, and on the back, I have a Camelback. Now, uh, hydration is very important to me. I always stay ahead of that. Um, so I try to keep drinking the entire time I'm playing. Now this is the way I have it set up. But because it's Molly, you'll be able to put your pouches anywhere on these front and back panels that you want to. It's all about your preference and how you like to play. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. If you have any other ideas for future videos, go to our Facebook page. That's facebook.com slash rap4usa. And shoot me a message. Just say, hey, Patrick, I want to see a video on whatever it may be. Looking forward to hearing from you, and we'll see you out there.